We've all been there. We're loving driving, having a great time, just enjoying the road. And then we see the cop. Look down at the speedometer and it's not quite what we hope to see. So, how does radar detecting work? Well, let's start off with how radar works. When a cop points his radar gun at your vehicle, he's actually shooting high frequency radio waves at you. Your car bounces them back and the distance between each of those waves indicates how fast you're going. So the closer those waves are together, the faster you're moving. And the radar gun reads that distance between the waves to determine your speed. So you're driving, and all of a sudden, Expand. Think back to those radio waves bouncing off your car. All your radar detector is doing is noticing them and letting you know, hey, they're out there. So what exactly is X-band? No, it's not X-men, unfortunately. But what it is, is the oldest type of radar that was approved by the FCC to be used in the United States. It's not as much used anymore, um, easier to find on like backcountry roads where stuff hasn't been updated, but it's got a really broad frequency, it can go a long distance, and that makes it really easy for detectors to detect. A couple decades later, they introduced K-band. It has less of a powerful output, which makes it more difficult for detectors to detect in advance, and it's also got a little bit of a narrower band as far as its production. And then there was the KA band, the deadliest of them all. For the radars, it has the narrowest beam pattern, which means that it can pinpoint your car compared to the car in the lane next to you. And it's also got such a low power output that it's really difficult for detectors to catch it in advance. So if you've gotten hit by KA, it's probably over. I know what you're thinking. What about LiDAR? LiDAR is light detection and ranging, and it's basically the same concept as radar, except it's using lasers instead. So if we said that the KA band had a really narrow beam pattern, think about how much narrower something that's based on light will be. Basically, this means that your car has been pinpointed, and it's pretty much over if your detector tells you that you've been hit by LiDAR. Now, a lot of times these are used on posts or in a stationary vehicle because it isn't effective while a vehicle is in motion. So it's a pretty good bet that the cop car behind you isn't hitting you with LiDAR. It's going to be hitting you with a form of radar instead. Here, our detector is picking up a low-strength K-band. It's one of those signs on the highway that lets you know how fast you're going. We have different modes. We've got auto, we can ignore X, and we also have highway. We can also turn the GPS ability on and off. Additionally, we can adjust the brightness of the display, which could be useful, but we leave it on auto. And we can mark a speed trap if we'd like to, like our garage. We hope you've learned a little bit about radar today and radar detectors. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully we can all just enjoy the ride like these guys.